Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week we are using the astrological oracle cards for the weekly oracle card guidance. And while these cards are quite particular, um, I thought that it would be nice to use them given the energy of the time. And um, perhaps you, it would resonate with you. So the way in which we're going to read them is I'm just going to uh, shuffle the cards. You're going to choose an option between one, two or three. And I'm going to uh, shuffle the cards and choose one card or more uh, for each option. And I'm going to read the um, the description from the book for you. And I'm going to go ahead and channel a message for you. So let me know if it resonates. Um, they're not your typical oracle cards. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to know if they do resonate or not. So before we begin with the reading, I would actually like to mention that I uploaded an energy forecast a couple of days ago. And I talked quite broadly about the themes of the energy, but I didn't talk about the day to day mundane, um, niggly energies at play. So I want to say that if you're feeling emotional, if you're feeling confused, if you're feeling uncertain, um, this is part of the journey and this is part of the, this energy right now. Just let it um, let it pass through you and also uh, be aware that there are certain gems that are coming out of this energy. There's a lot of new beginnings that are coming to pass. And, uh, you know, you are really ultimately the master of your destiny. It's up to you to change your course right now and to decide in which direction you're going to go into. And, um, you, you know, a lot is in your hands at the moment. So. It's there aren't so many variables, even though it may seem that way. A lot of it is changeable and you can do what you like with it. So having said all of that, let's begin with the reading and go ahead, choose your options one, two or three. And I will start the reading. OK, so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, the question we're asking is, what is it that we need to know this week? What is our Oracle guidance at this moment? given the energies and given everything that's happening at this moment. Okay, I feel it's this one here. So we have the card Leo, and I'm going to go ahead and read the description to you. So, so this is the cover of the book here. And I'm just going to read this little bit here to you. So it says, Leo the lion, it's the element fire. The planetary ruler is Sol, the sun. And the motto is, I will. Pride, radiance and warmth are the hallmarks of regal Leo. The lion's inborn confidence allows for great generosity as Leo believes strongly in its own power to get whatever it wants and needs. Unbalanced, this can show as arrogance or vanity with a tendency toward exaggeration. All right, so there are many ways in which one can use these cards and to work with them, and I'm not going to work with them in the traditional way because I feel that... Um, well, it's okay if you're working with it one to one, but working uh, with it with a wider audience, um, it doesn't really, I don't think it really works the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and channel a message alongside um, that description of Leo. So I want to say here that for me, this card speaks about abundant times ahead for you. It speaks for flourishing times. It speaks for um, things that have blossomed already, things that the, it's a blossoming stage in your life. And um, the, the advice here is just simply just go with whatever is uh, what's happening right now to go with the flow. I also want to say that it's important not to be too pig headed or too uh, bull headed or however one says that. And it's not it's important not to be too stubborn, but just to allow things to kind of flow. And if there's been a message that's been knocking on your door for a pretty long time, and, you know, um, you've been saying perhaps to others or others have been saying to you, I want to do this, but I want to do and I want to do that, but I can't because of this and that. Then now is the time to actually just say, OK, well, I I want to do this and I am going to do this and uh, and it's going to happen and I'm not going to be complaining any longer. I'm not going to be um, making excuses for why it can't happen. I'm just going to make it happen right now. And, and that's what it's going to be because this is what I want. So this card is very much talking about what is it that you want right now? What is it that you desire? Where is it that you want to go to? Sit down, think about that, write it down if you need to, but be committed towards moving in that direction, the direction that you want to move into and not what others want for you or not where 
it's uh, benefiting the, the, the whole or not where it's benefiting the larger, the larger community or th those around you in any way. But what is it that you want and where is it that you can bring yourself further um, in this moment? Because if you give yourself what you want, it is ultimately going to benefit those around you as well, because you'll be more sincere and you will be more authentic in your expression of yourself. The other message I'm getting here is that, you know, you may not have that confidence that you need to kind of go on and trust in yourself to do what it is that you want to do. You may doubt yourself or think, oh, perhaps, you know, it's not really right what I want, or perhaps it's not wrong for me to go in that path. Um, perhaps it's not a good idea. But see this as just a, a, a temporary confusion. See it as just an entanglement that can be straightened out, that it's something that can be a solution can be found to it. These are all little obstacles in your path and you can find a solution to these things. The other thing I um, I see here is that, you know, the what you've been saying or what you've been wanting to do is is already out there. It's there's like it's like held up like a beacon that you it's part of you. It's part of who you are and you are seen already in this light. So it's just a matter of getting out there and doing what it is that you desire right now and pushing it forward um, so that you can, in fact, um, move move yourself ahead in the direction that you desire. So I want to say that if you if you want to draw on some kind of security, uh, the security that you need to draw on is knowing that um, the structure is there. The structure along which you're moving is there, that you are within the bounds of your structure. And that's going to give you some degree of being held or some feeling of, of being um, comforted in, in, by, by the knowledge of this. This can, in fact, be a good experience for you as you move ahead now the next few weeks. It can actually be quite a, um, uh, um, a fun experience, quite a, an enlightening experience, quite a, um, an enriching experience. And so it's just a matter of giving yourself that. It's just a matter of being able to um, move ahead and, um, and push yourself forth as you, as you go ahead now. All right. Um, there's one more message in all of this. It feels as if, you know, there's another reality that uh, exists or there is a reality within which you exist. And what I'm talking about here is not really part of your reality, but um, it's something that, you know, it's something that you need to create. It's something that you need to move towards. Uh, now is the ripe moment to move out, to move beyond, to move, to work past the boundaries that you've set for yourself and I feel that here whereas the reality um, may be something that's more comforting and and quite different from what you actually are used to or, or quite um let me rephrase that I uh, whereas the reality might be something that you're quite comfortable with quite something that you're quite used to I think that it's it's it, it is the right time it is the right time and the right time to be able to break out of your bounds and to be able to move forth for those of you who are asking about whether you should move right now now's the time now's the time to make that move now is the time to go forth now is the time to fly out of the nest now is the time to actually spring forth and be who you are and there's going to be no better time than now to be able to show the world who you are and um, show them your blossom. All right, so I'm going to leave you with that. And I hope that this message has resonated and it's going to help you in some way. I wish you all a wonderful week and many, many blessings as you go forth. Lots and lots of love. For those of you who've chosen the option number two, we are asking, what is our oracle guidance for this week? What is the information that we've come here to hear? And what is it that we need to know right now? Okay, I'm going to go with this card here. And this is Luna the moon okay so as i've done for the other options i'm going to just read the uh the meaning from the book that we have here and i'm going to uh then channel a message for you so it says luna moon as the golden light of the sun reveals the outer expression of personality the silvery light of luna the moon brings its subtle influence to the inner life. This is the realm of emotions, intuition, and instincts. The unconscious mind is ruled by the moon. 
like the ocean's tides, pull toward the dreamy light in constant and changeable motion. The moon enhances all psychic ability and does not depend on logic or reasonable explanations. This is the province of the mysterious and the unseen. When Luna appears in your oracle reading, it is a message to listen to your inner voice for guidance. So I think that's quite an important message to listen to your inner voice for guidance at this moment. But a couple of things came up as I was reading that, and I just want to share with you what I think is your message here for the week. So I feel here that if you've been reaching out to actually do something that's been a bit different in the last couple of weeks and you're feeling a bit despondent about it right now, that it's actually okay. It's okay to take a breather and just to wait a bit until you feel like going forward with it again. I feel that you can test this. So if you want to go ahead with it and you can continue to feel this way, then just take a breather and you can pick up on it a couple of weeks later. The other message I'm getting here is that all kinds of emotions are going to come to the fore right now and it's going to be quite um, a challenge to be able to understand why these emotions are coming to the fore and what it is that you're actually working with. Why is it that you're feeling this way? Um, note that every day the emotions will be different and every day you'll feel something quite different and it's necessary to just go with the flow and just to let it be and to also honor the experiences that you're having and the emotions that you're having and you don't need to understand it you don't need to know where it comes from or why it's happening but simply to go with the flow and see where it leads you and you know look forward to the following day because every day will bring up a different range of emotions and feelings and and a different understanding of yourself or your reality as you know it the other message I'm hearing here is that if you're in a big hurry to actually move ahead or to do something, um, that it's okay to just slow down and and um, recognize that it's it's not necessary to to be in constant motion, to be constantly doing things, to have your days packed in and and not have any time out. It's okay to simply enjoy life and to relax and to let things just be. And to take time out and to have the space to just enjoy doing nothing. Because the 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 feelings right now and the emotions are at a height and it's difficult to kind of quieten them down. So if you aren't able to work or aren't able to be at your usual uh, productivity, it's okay to just take a break and to allow yourself to be in a dreamy space and to just relax or not to do anything at all. I feel here that there's support that you are being supported in this time. So if you feel alone and you feel like you you are not being supported or you feel like you're not you don't really have what what you need right now, just ask for help and you will receive it. I think that is actually the the strongest message here for this card is just simply ask for help. You know, if you're not doing well, if you if you feel like you would like to share how you're feeling with somebody just simply do it and it will in fact help you it will be calming for you it feels also to me that there's this door between your spirituality and that part of yourself and your physical life your physical reality and the message here is to remove that door to remove that barrier so that the two can flow into each other and that you can have more of your spirit in your work life or in your day-to-day life and um, just allow both of it to merge with each other and so that you feel more harmonious or you feel uh, calmer in yourself. This card tells me that it's not the time to search for that which is regal or that which is powerful or that which is um, an extraordinary aspect of yourself, but simply to to work with what you have at your avail what you have at your disposal and work with this energy and 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 succumb to this energy and allow it to to bring um, a degree of relaxation over you one that is potentially needed and one which is necessary right now for you for you to kind of lay the foundation for what's going to be in the next few weeks so um i'm going to leave you with that message and uh 
to I hope that this has resonated and, and it helps in some way and I hope that you can actually gain something from this uh, from this reading um, I do want to say that uh, you know these whatever these emotions or feelings are they 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 will pass and it will almost be as if it's not there anymore when it's gone and I think for you um, right now it's actually it's quite important for you to be in this in these emotions and to recognize them and not to say that you've got to mull over it um, all day long but simply to observe it and to acknowledge that it is there so with that I'm going to leave you and I'm going I wish you a wonderful week ahead I hope that uh, it is all that you wish it to be and many many blessings to you so for those of you who've chosen the third option here we asking what is it that you have come here to hear what is your weekly oracle guidance and what is it that you need to hear right now and we have mercurius so I'm going to go ahead and read the explanation from the accompanying booklet and then I'm going to channel your message for you. So this is the little booklet that comes with it and I'm simply going to read this bit here, um, sorry, this bit here and that there. Uh, so Mercurius is Mercury. Mercurius is the messenger of the gods whose winged feet speak news and information as fast as thought itself. In the celestial system, Mercury is the fastest planet zooming around the sun in a mere 88 days. Astrologically, Mercury represents the mind, intelligence and wit. It rules all communication, both spoken and written, and gives the power of persuasion and reasoning. Mercury also rules technology, innovation and invention. The shadow side of Mercury's sharp wit is cunning and trickery, which can be used to take advantage of those whose wits do not move at such lightning speed or whose nature may be more naive or gullible. When Mercurius appears in your oracle of reading, they may be in need for speed, swiftness, or you may be feeling a sense of urgency. So I want to say here that um, you may be feeling quite buoyant or you may be feeling quite ready and robust and able at this moment and if you are it is necessary to actually um, be aware of how you expend your energy so that you're not spending all your fuel energy all at once and then not having anything left over later so that you're not lacking stamina at a later stage it's important to take a breath and pace yourself here the other thing uh, I want to say here is that in some of your situations you may be doing better than those around you and um, it's okay to be there for the others and it's okay to actually lend a helping hand where need be. Um, and if you have been unsure of whether to do this, then this is your signal to go ahead and, and do that right now. This card tells me that things are going to, uh, that you are on the right path and things are going to pick up for quite a while and it is going to actually improve and you are going to be in good stead for quite some time so it's like an acknowledgement of that it's an acknowledgement of things going well for uh, a long period of time that th things are going ahead things are moving forward there's swiftness there's there's um, movement in your life I want to say that there's also just a, 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 a quite a lot of abundance here and there's quite a lot of um, like everything that you need like you're built like you're feeling well um, you are actually uh, quite together and that you need whatever you need is is there you have everything at your disposal so this feels like a very positive card for me it feels like a confirmation that things are going well and that it is going to be okay and if things are not really going well right now and you're wondering when it's going to be okay then this card is definitely a confirmation that things are about to start getting better and about to move ahead in the direction that you desire now I want to say that it's important to to look ahead when you do so. It's important to actually uh, look forward and and uh, and pay attention to where you're headed to. And because it's going to happen quite fast, you know, the move, movement is going to 
kind of take over right now and you might find that you land somewhere that you're not expecting to land or not really where you want to be so I think it's important to actually pay attention to all of that and um to to allow yourself to to go along a path that you you want to go and not one that you know kind of is taken over and uh you find yourself in some place that you went uh expecting to be found to to head to during this week resist the temptation to actually be irritable or to be short or to be impatient uh with those around you at um not everyone is is doing as well as you are doing at this moment and you might find that others are struggling a bit so have a bit of patience and have a bit of generosity with those who are not doing so well uh at this moment especially those who are older and a bit frail there's one more message here and that is to actually save. The message here is save what you can for the rainy day. It's also it's also telling me that, you know, things are going well right now and uh, it will p probably go well for a long time. But there might be a moment when you would be grateful if you had saved something, uh, whether it's energy, whether it's m money or whether it's uh, just um, resources, uh, something, you know, save put away things, save things for the future because um, this is a good time of abundance and this is the time when you're reaping and uh, it's necessary to uh, store some of that which you've reaped so that you can have it for yourself in the winter. I feel like whatever is coming your way right now is actually going to, um, it's not going to harm you. So even if the obstacles that are coming your way, you're not going to really notice it. It's just going to go like underneath you. So, you know, you can ride this one. You can actually be... Um, yeah, you can you can actually be okay with this one. Go for it, is the message here. So this is actually a really positive message, and it's really bright and and full of energy, and and it's actually a fantastic message to have right now. And I would say just go for it and have a fantastic week as you go along. And on that note, I'm going to wish you a good one. I hope that you all stay safe, and happy and well. And I wish you a very blessed week. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.